uh, I have few requirements or like I, I restricted few things. Uh, so uh, first of all, I the course we want to look for is MS or MSc in Europe. And as we are from IT, so we want to look for some courses in IT. And I have a work experience of three years. And by the time I'll come, it will be three and a half years. Right. So uh, and one more criteria we have is we are looking for one year programs instead of two year programs. I understand okay. they add more weightage, but you know, to take a loan of 30 lakh rupees and uh, it is always better to take it less. I mean, uh, that's what my belief is. Uh, so like, what would you suggest? Oh, as I said in the message in LinkedIn, so you, I mean, it's your choice, like uh, depending on the finances, obviously, as you have done the research, so it's mm -hmm. less in one year program, but uh, mm -hmm. Uh, it depends on what you want to do after that. I mean, you want to stay here or such in different places yes. in Europe or you want to go to back to India or I mean, it depends on your goal. Okay, so the goal is to stay in Netherlands and uh, not coming back for sure unless and until we settle down for like 10, 15 years after then we'll think, but not till now, mm -hmm. right? So uh, uh, I have shortlisted few colleges here. Now I have shortlisted as per the QS ranking so uh, uh, is it same as the one that you sent me in LinkedIn? No. I mean, yes, the seven colleges that I shortlisted. Okay, let me open so, it because it will be easier for me to refer also. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So, uh, and I have a consultant here who is pushing me to go for Redbound University. The name of the course is uh, MSc Business Information. But mm -hmm. I haven't read much about Redbound uh, over the internet. So, like, I mean, I mean, overall in Netherlands, most of the universities they don't differ that much in the ranking and the reputation but if you see international wise then it's not that famous i mean mm. uh, some of the top universities if you say overall they are like uh, tu delft eindhoven the one in utrecht leiden mm. and obviously amsterdam but again the cost of living is very high in amsterdam okay. Mm -hmm. uh maastricht one is also good i don't know how is the one year program but uh, one of my colleague uh, he's from italy and he is also doing phd here with me and mm -hmm. he graduated with a ai course it is like a two years program similar to mm -hmm. masters but it's in artificial intelligence oh, so okay. maastricht is also good university i mean if you do mm -hmm. a MBA or you do this, uh, overall, MS, I know Maastricht is a reputed MS. university. I don't know about the one year program exactly, but it's a good yeah. university. But so uh, I Red, was uh, mm -hmm. Red Bound University. I don't I mean, I have never heard about it that much. So, mm -hmm. OK, so like uh, we have three universities where we have one year program. One is Maastricht, where we have MSc in business intelligence. One we have is Rotterdam. So Rotterdam, we have a program that's MSc Business Information Management and mm -hmm. one is Redbound. So we have only three universities which have one year program. And for two year, Leiden is a good option, but the fee is around 30 lakh rupees. So is it worth investing 30 lakh rupees? I mean, in two years, every university, it will cost you around 30 to 40, depending on the euro rate. Because now, I think recently in last two, three days, it has gone down a lot, which is unexpected and maybe because of the India-Pakistan situation, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, considering the cost, if you go for the one year program, then I think Rotterdam and the one in Maastricht will be, Maastricht one is also one year, right? Yeah. I mean, in my opinion, I would say you should choose either Rotterdam or Maastricht in in comparison to the red bond one. I don't okay. know. I mean, one of the issues uh, is like, appeared for GMAT or GRE. So we are not very sure and no consultant is helping us for Maastricht and, you know, uh, what do you say, this uh, like Red or Rotterdam. So they don't have it on their list. But Leiden also they don't have. But they are saying that you can apply yourself. And uh, But I mean, why do they need, uh, so are you sure that it is a MSc? Okay, so what does it mean like 
they need GMAT. That means, is it like you do MBA after that or something else? No, no, no. So I have read that people need GRE or GMAT apart from IELTS score. These universities, Maastricht and Rot uh, like uh, Rotterdam, but there is like no. But story. I think you should better check in their website because every in university their has their own regulations and uh, it changes every year. Like in Delft Computer Science, till this year, there was no GRE required, but only this year, admit they have added an additional requirement for GRE, but mm -hmm. that also they won't consider. That's what I heard from the admissions committee because there is one professor who works in a similar field and he said that we have just mentioned it to restrict the number of students, but mm -hmm. in real, we won't consider that as a criteria when we evaluate the applications. Okay, so you mean like we should appear for GRE? And then I mean, if it is mentioned in their website, then I think it is better to appear. Otherwise, that's like is it like you know? Can we do it this way that we we uh, start the application and we don't submit GRE or GMAT right now, and if later they ask us to submit it, then we can. But I think the all these things depend on the specific university rules. So if I mean everyone has their own set of criteria, so. If mm. they mention it in that way, then otherwise, why do you take the risk of spending mm. money for the application and in turn you get rejected just for the, the reason is because deadlines are coming and have, we haven't prepared anything for GMAT or GRE. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's better to check their website because I cannot it's written on uh, their website. tell. I, uh, it's written. I mean, so in like TOEFL, I'm sure everyone allows it to send it late. But I, I don't know about GRE because during my time, GRE was not required. So I never appeared for the GRE. I mean, I didn't mm. send my GRE scores here. So I have no idea about the GRE, uh, if you can send it late or not. If they mm. say, then it's OK. I mean, OK. And for Delft, like they have uh, completed their seat. So like we can still apply for Delft. But that's a two. No, you thing. want to apply for computer science. In my, as per my experience, I don't think you will Either you will get a, I mean, if they reply you that the seats are filled, then they will refund your money. But uh, uh, that is the 99% possibility of that. Because last year, there are like 20 to 30 people who contacted me. And last year, they applied in January or something like that, I remember. And that person, he emailed me after two weeks that I got a reply in January that our seats are already overfilled. So we cannot take any more new applications because CS okay. for last two years, it has increased a lot the demand for CS in Delhi. Okay. okay, so like uh, for CS, if you want to go for like two years program, then with like Leiden is a good option, right? Yeah, I mean, if you go for CS, then obviously I did my CS in Tudor. So I would say Tudor in the first choice and then you can uh, I mean, in my opinion, the next after Delft will be like 20, Leiden, 20. Have you heard about 20? That's yeah, a very 20. good university. My consultant is helping me in 20. Is it That's a, good a very good university. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, some of my supervisors also did their PhD there. And I have met some of the professors there who work in the AI and robotics in some seminars and conferences. And it's a very good university, reputation wise and publication wise and industrial. Uh, exposure and everything is very good university. Okay, but again, it's like two year program, 20. Yeah, 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 the same. So like, like, I, I mean, everywhere, to... anywhere you go, except uh -huh. Amsterdam, anywhere you go, you'll spend the same. Amsterdam, the cost of study will be the same, but cost of uh, your, I mean, living will be very high. So it's better not to live in Amsterdam while studying. Okay, okay. So, like, if we compare for two years program, if you compare Leiden and uh, the Twini, so which one would you suggest? Twini, right? Which one? Leiden and? Leiden and Twini, 20. Uh, it's difficult to say. I mean, some special, I mean, both are equally good in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And some special programs, they, if you see only CS, both are equally good. But mm -hmm. Based on the current situation, I would say if you want to do something in software engineering or mm -hmm. web development data, or something like that, data analytics. Uh, then I think it's better to go for 20. 20. Uh, I mean, that again is like based on my limited experience. I mean, I'm not saying I'm expert, no, 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 but no. actually my research also says the same what you're saying. Uh, uh, it's just they say that the campus of Twini is very isolated or something. Oh, okay, that, that I don't know. Maybe because it's in Enskede. So Enskede, I've never been to that place. 
Mm. But uh, really? I have heard from some of my friends who are doing PhD recently that it's like in a near Germany, I think that is another part of the. I mean, it's it's somewhere in the northeast or something like that. But that it's is also near Germany. Right. I mean, uh, I'm living in Valkenburg near Maastricht. It's near like Maastricht. ten kilometers from Maastricht. Okay. So I was just uh, want to shortlist three programs which I would like to appear for. and uh, that's the actual confusion that i have so mm-hmm. you know so i'm not very sure that if i go i should go for two year programs or i should i should appear for gmat or gre so that i can appear for these one year programs so like it's really confusing mm-hmm. i mean that's very difficult to say because i'm not sure exactly what are the options you have after you finish the one year program that's the thing like there okay. must be something i mean is anything mentioned in their website i mean there are very few programs did you check their website like yes. uh, where do people get placed after those one year program it was like you have to research on your own uh, about the job yeah, yeah that's true that's true but so like how are it is to get a job in netherlands like oh, for an okay candidate or like seven cgp oh i mean it's not hard I, the thing is like uh, it takes some time if you so that's why whatever program you do you should start you should have like 3 or 4 months in your hand to search for these uh, job positions yeah so it does not dip, i mean disregarding your profile mm-hmm. you can uh, even if you don't land in a mnc or something you can get in a startup so mm-hmm. there are a lot of thriving startups and if you go to leiden or delft i don't know about other universities they have like a i've told this in many others before the skype calls like they have a startup incubator in their own campus so you can get in touch with like 100 or 50 startups and wow. uh, i mean the salary difference is very very less when you compare the net salary what you get in a startup and in a company you can always switch so initially you won't be jobless and you can so re- research did, did in the for tu delf sorry did you uh, did you personally took a loan for tu delf yeah yeah obviously i mean unless you are really really rich, rich then <laughs> otherwise so like, what is the uh, 90% of the indians i know they take loans that's what so i like, know so like are you able to repay it or like are you facing difficulty the like, thing is yeah. like during my time i was very lucky because when i studied that was the dipping time of the euro mm. so i spent like uh, and even the cost were less like every year they increase the tuition fee by 1000 euro so in my time it was like exactly it was somewhere around 26 or 27 lakhs including everything for two years including your stay and all yeah yeah everything because the, when i paid the money in my first year the euro was 66 so you can imagine what difference it makes When eighty so, and sixty-six, like, that's a huge difference. Six is a big amount. So, like, uh, are you able to repay it, or like, are you still loan? No, no. I mean, I didn't take the full hundred percent loan. So, it was like somewhere around fifteen or sixteen, something like that. And the rest of that was arranged here, and you can easily repay. The thing is, because you get like, I mean, I'm doing a PhD, but even if you do a job, PhD and job. are almost the same because in phd you also work like employee so you are paid salary every month mm. minimum 1000 euro you can easily save every month you can go beyond that also it depends on how you spend but if, if mm. you spend very lavishly then also you can spend minimum 1000 euro every month so then you can imagine like in a year you can save 12000 euro which will be roughly equivalent to somewhere if you consider 80 now i think it has become 78 but So is it like I have to take like pay the complete? So in two fee years fee? you can repay like twenty lakhs if you can yeah. estimate. So right. I have a question like uh, like I have to pay complete fees of two year in one go or like? No 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 no. Generally in most cases they ask for the one year to deposit, and for the next year I know ninety nine percent of the cases they allow you to pay monthly or pay in bulk. It depends on you. You can do the choice after you finish one year, but mm-hmm. so uh, like, the first I'll year they ask. Is- before because they want to be sure that you are coming from different country and you have the money otherwise they won't allow you to come so like uh, if if example i'd go for twinny and the fee is 30 lakh rupees so no I no fees i don't think the fees are 30 lakh rupees 
Because I think. what you are saying is uh, no, I don't think so. Because I, I know Tudel, it's like sixteen thousand euro now. Tudel for two years, uh, eh, sorry, one year tuition fee. Tudel now is somewhere around fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand euro. So how much will it be? Like, so I checked for twenty. I think it's uh, thirteen thousand per year. So like twenty six thousand for two years, right? So let's say. If it is thirteen, it's nice. But uh, okay, so fifteen thousand is roughly equivalent to eleven or twelve lakhs rupees. Mm. Mm. So that's how I mean. In twenty, you are saying thirteen thousand. That means it is even less. So it's somewhere around ten lakhs. Okay, so like twenty lakhs for two years, right? So I'll have to take a loan of the complete amount. Or like, how will I do it? Like ten lakhs, I'm giving right now. Then the amount, rest of the ten lakhs, if I also want loan on that thing, so I can do like go to Netherlands, earn that ten lakh and pay it. Can I do it that way? No, no. I mean, you need to have the fund with yourself, right? Like, mm -hmm. it's not like in the middle you get fund from somewhere. Like, unless mm -hmm. you do a, I mean, in two year programs, I know you can do a industrial thesis in the second year, mm -hmm. so that helps you for like nine months or ten months for a living, not for mm -hmm. your study. Because you get roughly around six hundred to seven hundred euros, but yeah. you need to plan the finances before you come here because you won't get a loan here. So yeah. it's like so even if complete. you spend it in second year, but you need to plan it there. Like maybe arrange sixty percent as loan or forty forty percent from your friends and family. I mean that's what people do because if you take like forty lakhs loan, you cannot take forty lakhs loan also. So uh, is it like we cannot take? There's a limit for that over. No, I mean. In SBI, especially I know, like in government banks or SBI, they have. Uh, I I mean I don't know exactly, but they have certain limitations, and above that you have to keep some mortgage or something like that. You need to show some mm -hmm. proof of property, and if you go for HDFC Credila, which most people during my time were going to US were taking, they don't have any limitation. They also ask for mortgage and something like that, but it is more relaxed. But the interest that you repay is really really high. So. Uh, SBI was somewhere around eleven or twelve percent, but Credila was somewhere around thirteen point five or fourteen percent three years mm -hmm. back. So you can imagine what it will be now. If you take like fifty lakhs loan, it will take you like ten years or I don't know. Like depends how is the interest and everything. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, and like I was also looking for one other option that was very similar. That's like Ireland uh, University College Dublin. So they have one year program, but I heard like uh, I mean, how is Ireland? I'm just wondering. No Ireland. Okay, just wait. I got a message. Sorry. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, Ireland is good. I mean, I have never heard about Ireland, but recently, last year, one of my friends from my school days, he went to Ireland uh, for one year or one and a half year. I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. And this year also, one of my friend went to Ireland. She was doing something like. Uh, I don't know exactly her profile, but she did uh, her bachelor's in a state university, and then she was doing, uh, she was working in a software company for two three years, and then she went to Ireland. So the course is also one year. Will that be uh, MSc? I I have also heard that like, and they also get some funding sometimes. Whatever I know. But I mean, what I've heard about Ireland is like they don't have odd jobs there. So like while you are studying, it gets difficult for you to manage. Oh, okay, that I don't know then. I mean, I know I have very like one percent knowledge about Ireland. I don't know that much. So like, how about odd jobs in Ireland? Like, you get easily you get jobs like odd jobs. I mean, jobs you or... can find part time jobs very easily, but in the two years program, I know from my experience, it's difficult to manage the balance. So you need to plan it in that way that you can manage your courses, and you can mm -hmm. also manage the job. No one will stop you. It's very flexible, and you have a lot of degrees of freedom, but. Uh, you need to plan the thing. Otherwise, your entire program won't finish in two years, and it gets extended beyond two years, which is also a danger. So you need mm. to. It takes some time initially, like one month, or depending on from your background. Like sometimes it takes fifteen days or one month. But once you are settled, then you know how everything works. That is the thing. Like you need to plan the thing. Otherwise, it's difficult to manage all these things because coursework mm. is very hectic, especially mm. in. I I think it will be the same in one year also. In two years, it's really hectic compared to US. The coursework here is a lot hectic. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
All but right. That, All that right. is the option, as I said. Like you can do in the stealth thesis in the second year if you do the two years program. So it will mm. fund you like basically nine or ten months of the second year for your living expenses. Oh, wow. In the stealth thesis. Because thieves. you get like six hundred, seven hundred euros, and that's what you spend in living. Living is not that expensive. What people say in different medias, it's very mm. overhyped in some places. Not all, everywhere, but I mean, rent is high, but cost of eating i i will make a video on the cost of living i was shooting it today so it's like cost yeah. of if you eat yourself like cook yourself then eating is not that expensive so, like, almost similar to if you are staying with your girlfriend or something like that right sorry i mean like uh, there is no such restriction that you cannot stay with your girlfriend no no something. no i mean i mean what i will say like here you don't have any restriction on any drugs any i mean not like illegal drugs but like any normal yeah, yeah. like uh, uh, yeah i mean that is legalized nowadays everywhere because of medical uses but uh, everything like even torrents and all these things you cannot download torrents in germany but it is perfectly legal it is even more freedom yeah. than india if you compare now in netherlands like oh wow nothing is restricted and it's very flexible that's also a reason like there's a very beneficial side but in a way it also puts you in a situation that you need to make the decisions and the planning properly so that you don't uh, end around in something like because of that lot of freedom so that is your like response mm, make 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 sense make sense and uh, like i would uh, 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 like the last thing that i would uh, want to know is like uh, you know like what is the uh, like ratio of mnc then like how much do they uh usually pay like if i'm working if i get a yeah, full time yeah yeah so based on one few of my friends salary whatever i've heard normally mm-hmm. gross is like 40000 euros if you go to philips or something after masters mm-hmm. uh even if you have a work experience it's somewhere roughly around 40 to 44000 gross mm-hmm. in euros per year mm-hmm. uh so when you put the tax it becomes very less so after tax i think it will be somewhere around 2500 to 2700 euro net salary per month per month yeah so i mean anywhere you go you will always get above 2200 or something like that even if you go to startup it will be somewhere around 2200 or 300 like, after tax while you work there then that grows right like in every way yeah yeah i mean every ha- every company has their i mean normal okay. jobs have their slabs so you are like p0 p1 or something like that which changes after a year or one and a half year or something like that and you can also switch to negotiate and because once you are settled and you work in one or two companies then you can switch and increase your salary and negotiate depending on your profile and everything got it and like Just as it I... happens in india it's the same like after you have like 3 4 years experience here yeah yeah, yeah. so like after i uh, get a job here then uh, like can i look for jobs like uh, around all across the europe like for example i am working for like one year after my course then i am looking for a job in germany so like is it legal or like what no no nothing is illegal you can search anywhere but as as per my experience i don't think it will be easier for you to find a job in germany except mm. germany you can find anywhere else because I mean, if you know German, then it's fine because they need that language uh, mm-hmm. A two or something like that, A two or B one. I don't remember. So you need mm-hmm. to have a German CV, and the interviews are ninety nine percent of the time in German. German. So that's why German. Even people who study in Germany have a lot of issues with this. So they pre prepare themselves before coming here, taking courses mm-hmm. from India or anywhere. So that's why you are in a safe haven. Then no need to. <laughs> look for germany like you can look mm-hmm. for other places like switzerland or sweden mm-hmm. or there are many other good places apart from mm-hmm. germany okay and like uh, is there any other way because right now i am in this confusion that uh, if i have to go for one year programs then i have like i have uh, removed red bound from the list now i have maastricht and i have red uh, what is that rotterdam right and for two year now i have uh, leiden and i have twenty So now I am confused that uh, one year program like about GRE and GMAT. So is there a way on their website they say that they require, but uh, like it's really but some people like on some few websites it says that it's mm-hmm. not required, but on the official website it says it's required. 
Then I think maybe the ones which are unofficial may be old because I told mm-hmm. you, right? Like recently, because what happened was because of this US situation, which is also overhyped. I mean, I am not saying that no one is going to US, still people go. It's a different perspective. But uh, here it has increased a lot. I mean, the incoming of the international. So that's why they try to restrict the number of students. And if okay. you have serious doubts in some universities, suppose you're applying to two or three, then better just email their admissions committee or someone. There will be email in every uh, university. And generally the reply depends on how so many. Like what should I email? Like, do you require GRU or like something like this? No, no. Uh, if it is mentioned in their website that mm. you need GRE, then don't email. Do you need GRE? But uh, if I mean, you can just ask. Like, if I submit it later, is it possible or not? Like, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, so so on, that you are sure. Like, okay, uh, then they will reply and you will know. Like, on twenty and on uh, Leiden, it's not shown on the website. Also, only on these one-year programs of Maastricht and this. Mm. Mm. Maybe that is more business oriented. I think so because mm-hmm. it sounds something like that. The programs like mm-hmm. because you also said GMAT because GMAT I've never heard anyone apart from the MBA. No one asks for on GMAT. Rotterdam. The name of the course is MSc Business Inform Information Management. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, MSc Business Management. So that's the yeah, reason. but still it is MSc. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. How much ECTS is it? Uh, no idea about it. What is CTS? Uh, it's like a credit that you get. Uh, so in India also you have that right. Like uh, in one year you are supposed to earn this much of credits to stay here or work here or something like that. Okay. okay. So, so that also like matters. A, I mean, it depends on like suppose if you want to do a PhD, then you need this much CTS to complete during your masters to be eligible to apply. So you have different criteria for different jobs or anything you apply. I mean, not for jobs, but different positions you apply. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll just check on their website. OVMC business. CTS electives 18 ACTS. Oh, OK, so it's like 40. Then I think it is something different because I thought because in masters it's like 120 CTS in two years. So I thought it will be 60 in one year, but 40 is I don't think that will be too much of a work. I think it is better you search online in some websites or somewhere like there are no websites, but uh, maybe check in LinkedIn or somewhere because sometimes when you don't find information anywhere, you find in LinkedIn. So yeah, I found you. There will be, yeah, yeah. I mean, if there will be some people who have done that one year course and may not be from India, but uh, what are the options after that? That's the only thing which I also don't know clearly. Otherwise, doing the one year course is not bad, but that's mm-hmm. the only thing I'm not sure. Or maybe ask your consultant, whoever so your consultant. What would be your personal opinion about like one year program or two? What would you choose if you would have been at my position? Be honest. And that uh, would be my last question. I won't ask anything. <laughs> Just no, your. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, I mean, the only constraint is the finance. So if I can arrange the finance somehow, may it be a higher loan also, it is fine. Because once you have studied here, if you ask anyone, once you spend the money, then only you can get the benefit and repay. It's never mm-hmm. an issue of, because before coming, we will have a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, like bad thoughts or anything like, oh, I'll get a job or not and all those things. Mm-hmm. So. It's better to take that two year. That's worth the investment. I mean, like if you want to be completely sure of uh, mm-hmm. getting a. That is again because I don't know much about the one year program. That's why I'm saying the two year like. Makes sense. So, OK, so that's it yeah. for now. Thank you so much for your time. And okay. I'll surely do some of the research and if there would be anything.